Call me skeptical if you want, Jenny, but somehow I don't think all these women around here are really driving instructors, are they, Jenny? No, I think these are different kinds of working girls, aren't they? Yes, indeed. Um, now, uh, Jenny's given us a lot of tasks to do. We will find those quite difficult, I believe. Well, maybe later. <laughs> you can promise not to be too rough, and maybe I'll give you a freebie, sugar. Hmm. How about a little sugar, baby? I'll give you a Motown special. Ah, Motown. I'm a, I'm a big fan of Motown. I'll take your mind off your troubles. Anyway. We have a lot to do. We have a lot to do. We've got to retrieve the dead terrorist neural hub at the police station. We've got stuff to do for, um... Ah, what's her name? Ah, you know, the ex-girlfriend I had who died. Um... Yeah, it's whatever. Whatever her name is. I don't remember. Jeanette? Something like that? I don't know. Uh, we've got to do something for her mum. Which is all about being at the police station again. And then we have Jenny's task to spy on O'Malley. We've got to meet him in an alley beside the police station, right? Yeah. We've got to go to Derelict Row, find O'Malley's apartment. How do we know? On the second floor of a building near Brooklyn Court. Have we already been in O'Malley's apartment? Because that name is really familiar. Then if we can, we've got to remain undetected in DRB territory. Yes, if we can, that's, yeah, probably not going to happen, Jenny. Sorry, mate. I believe this is the way to the police station, right? Yeah. We've got a lot to see around here. I'd like to just come down this way first. Check out here. We haven't been this way, and I believe this is going to take us out to the, um... Subway, we're next to where the gas station is. Um, I did already visit the gas station off camera and sold a lot of uh, sold a lot of things and cleared my inventory up because it was all ugh, higgledy piggledy and uh, it didn't look very nice. It made my skin crawl. What are you two up to? Help out a fellow man down on his luck. Nah. I don't think so. Spare some credit so I, can eat. I don't have any credit, sorry. I've only got 11,000. Wow, this place looks cool. Is this the bank? Look how well patrolled these streets are. Compared to the other streets. Ah, uh, right. That's why, isn't it? Because it's the bank. That's why they're all here. Jefferson Drive, and there's Grand River Road. Okay. Alright, I believe that's going to take us to the police station eventually. We'll go along that way later. Let's head down this way. Oh, there's a police station right there. Okay. Great. We'll, we'll check that out. We'll check that out. What's all the fuss about this augmentation technology? No, it's pretty cool, I think. Ooh. Should we give him that? Should we give the homeless guy this cyber energy bar so we can eat? Yeah. Finders keepers. What are you looking at, pal? Scanning me with those metal eyes of yours? Huh. 
The sunglasses. Don't mind my friend. He's just paranoid. Yeah, I got that impression. Man, how did we get to the bank? So I Oh, what's this? A sewer crate. Uh-huh. Where does this lead us, I wonder? Let's check out later. Fucking Motor City bangers. Who do they think they are? The sewers was our turf. The whole sewers. Except near the cop shop. Blues made sure nobody hung around there. Blues. Alright, the blues are the cops, right? He's got to be a DRB then if he's uh, ragging on the Motor City bangers. Hey, you look like the kind of guy who'd know how to lay his hands on some explosives. You know, hush hush. I heard the mob is stashing stuff down in the sewers. Oh my god, can we get a GEP gun in this game? Is it going to be down in the sewers? We have to check that out. We have to check that out. Ah, look. Here's that dumpster we were too weak to move from the other side. Can you just push these out the way? They've got wheels on them. Or do the wheels lock in position? I guess they must lock. Right. I want that gap gun. A couch in the sewers. How the bloody hell did they get that thing down here? How is that going to fit through that hole there? No way. No way does that fit through there. No way. That is a nice hat. That would go very well with my trench coat. Why do some people feel they can just walk up to anyone and start yapping? Shove off, mister. Yeah, shove you two. But your pal. You were human once. Beautiful. Why did you do it? I never asked for this. But thank you for the compliment. Asleep. I got a right to live my life as I choose. And this little corner of the universe here is mine. Great! It's a good way to take ownership over your life. I like that. I respect that. Hey, scientists are God, man. They make a mistake, it's a human being that pays. Yep, that's the way it's always been. What is all this? I don't I don't like the look of this. Pray for my soul. I don't like the look of that. Can we turn that off? One of these fuse boxes. Not like we need to turn it off, we can just walk around it. Would be nice though. Keep out of this whoa, 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 whoa. He does not want us here. Hurry, 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 hurry. Whoa, 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 why can't we? Oh. We can. Uh, Jetson? Jetson! I don't think his friend noticed. No, he didn't notice. Good. Oh, now he's noticed. Crap. Run, run Jensen. Run like the wind. That's it. Come on. Come on. Whap. Yeah. 
Come on. What the hell is going on here? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. No, 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 no. Don't get Look at that. Very nice. Very nice. All right, who's got loot? You got shotgun air. Ooh, shotgun cartridges, yes. So we'll take this anyway. Now, how do we get loot off this guy? There. He's dead. Oh yeah, yeah, of course he's dead. His, his foot is the only thing above water, so yeah, of course he's dead, Jensen. Where's the other one? He went in the water too, didn't he? Oh well, you win some, you lose some. Now... What else do we have down here? Pretty big place. Where are we? Oh, we're like under the police station. Ah, didn't they talk about... Didn't they talk about a way... Getting into the police station from the sewers if we had to. I seem to remember something like that. Could be wrong though. It tells me they aren't the only guys down here. Still have to be careful. Okay, where does that ladder take us out? for my soul. Oh, look at that. Ah, that turns the electricity off. I think. This gets us into the police station. From below. What are we looking at here? Okay. Four. Do we have to get both of these? Look, here's what we're doing. We're just straight up nuking that one. Just to get us in. I might nuke this one too. Now. We'll set these twos. We'll set the four first. Do the four, twos, one, and we'll grab the threes. Come on. Done. Easy. Easy. Access granted. Nice. Alright, that gets us into the police station, but I don't want to go there yet. I want to check out the rest of the sewers first, but, you know, good to know. Good to know that it's there. Good to know. Oh. All 
Alright, that didn't really do anything for us, did it? Can't get in that one. Is that it? Is that all there is down here? There's this little bit here. Okay. Don't fall in, Jensen. Don't fall in. <gasps> They're hobos, aren't they? They look like it. Yeah. They won't mind us being here. Oh, let me guess. You got nothing to spare. That's all right, man. We all got our crosses to bear. That's it. You know, we've all had a hard life. You know, me up in my big fancy Chiron building. You know, it's difficult up there, you know. I know what it's like, man, having to suffer. You know, sometimes, um... Like when I turn the shower on, the water's really cold at first and it's, it takes a while to heat up, you know? It sometimes takes like five seconds for that water to heat up. So, like I know how to rough it. I know how to rough it, man. I know what it's like. Yeah, me and you. Me and, me and, me and, like, me and you guys stand here, we're kindred spirits. Really. I ain't proud. I'll take charity. Even from one of you. What do you mean by one of me? What do you mean by that? I ain't no guinea pig. Ain't no way I was getting all just to keep my job. I ain't no guinea pig. Are you saying I am? Jeez. That's when I thought we were getting along. Look, there's another one of those cracks. Take a look. Drink it all in. It ain't pretty, is it? No, you're not. You're not really. Do something about that hair. What have you got there? Is that... Yeah. Your hair would be a good place to start. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where does this take us? Come on. Oh! Okay. Why would we need to come up here? I think he's talking about my trench coat. Whatever happens, my man, don't let them scare you. Don't let them beat you down. I, I try. We're supposed to meet O'Malley behind an alley next to the police station. Well, I guess that's him. Um, I don't want to be here yet. What else is down in the sewer? We didn't find that cache of explosives, did we? I wonder if we have to knock through that wall to get it. Still have this part here to see. Do you know what? We could get our business done in the police station. We could search this area. And then we could do this bit. On the way back to Sarif. That kind of makes sense, doesn't it? We are here now. Where does this take us? Oh, come on, mate. Just...
Right, need a barrel. Can't lift that one, it's probably a bit hot anyway. Come on. There. Ha, ah, this seems familiar. This seems familiar. I feel like I'm gonna... I feel like this is my brother's apartment in here. Another way into the police station, yeah? Guess that's what this is. Where are we going? Oh yeah, fine. Fine. Oh, we don't have much time though, do we? But we should be able to get it. Yeah, it's still going to be a two. That's fine. Right, and there's another way into the police station. It's two ways we have in there. And then what's this? Is this a third way in? Wow. Yeah, okay. Why would we need three ways in? What what are we trying to do in the police station again? Um get down to the morgue. So I guess the sewer entrance would be good for that. Right? If it's in the basement. We're gonna meet O'Malley in the alley next to the police station, right? We know where he is. Go to Derelict Row. Well, we know how to get there. Um, got to find O'Malley's apartment. Second floor of a building near Brooklyn Court. So we got quite a lot of buildings to search through for that. Uh, we got to get a cold case storage locker. Wherever that is. DMPD, was that Detroit something police department? Go to the lobby, talk to Chet Wagner. So that would be the front entrance. Okay, Captain Penn's office on the second floor. So, second floor, though we're probably going to need this entrance here. For that, right? Got a lot to do. Let's get our business done at the police station and then we'll head to Derelict Row. So that's going to take uh, a little bit of prep. Especially if we want to remain undetected. I will try. I will try. Not very hard, but I will try. Right, we'll grab the four. We're definitely going to get detected at the four. We're detected anyway, that's fine. We've got plenty of time. Oh, I think I hit that too soon. No, we got it. We got it. Got it. Oh, wait, do you think this is the storage locker? Could be, couldn't it? Look how neat it is in here, man. This is fantastic. Finally, some people who know how to organize. Yeah, this is a storage unit. All right. All right, what do we have here? Um, I'd like to get that. Oh, we take this no matter what. We'll take this, we're never going to make it. We'll have to use a stop arm here, won't we? Yeah, we're never going to do this. I don't think we have enough time. Excellent. Just, oh, just made it. Look at that, 0.23. Oh-ho! Yoink! Bracelet. Whose bracelet is that? Not here. 
Probably a quest item then, isn't it? Right, we've got some ebooks to look through. Let's get some information on this case. Right, Sarif Industries Incident Report TA. Um Incident Terrorist Attack on Sarif Industries Headquarters Detroit Officer. Uh, Detective Jean Zhua. Wow. Um Chipowski? Chipowski? Subject, confused witness. Details, apart from Sarath's chief of security, who still who is still in a critical condition in edit, and another lab condition another lab technician who's lying in a deep coma in the same hospital. The only witness to the attack on Sarath who's left alive is a tech. Oh come on man. Tech named Arthur Hopkins. I was looking for the button to skip through the um, skip through the pages. Something peculiar regarding the witness's descript deposition or lack thereof. When we first got to the scene, Mr. Hopkins was waiting for us in a rec room near the labs. He was obviously in shock, but was quite coherent and ready to give you the clear description of the incident. Huh. How clear was that description? Was it too clear? Is he a plant? The emergency response team wanted to make sure his condition was stable before allowing us to interview him. When we came back after his checkup a few minutes later, he was incoherent and confused. He couldn't remember anything about the attack. We still haven't heard back from the ER team regarding this matter. Addendum from Captain Penn. Captain Penn, is he the shady one? The situation has been resolved with the medical team. Mr. Hopkins' condition has been validated. He suffered from a severe concussion. The matter is closed. That ain't how concussion works, mate. That ain't how concussion works. He's been tampered with. Captain Penn is, uh, Captain Penn is, um, behind this. Captain Penn. Captain Penn. Who is Captain Penn again? The order to close the case came from higher up. Precinct Captain, Captain Penn, might have copies of those orders on his computer. Right. So, Captain Penn shut that witness up, either through his own volition, or he's been asked to do it from higher up. Okay. Okay, what's next? So this is uh, Detective Chase. That's the guy from. That's the guy that we talked to in the apartment building. Subject is twenty three. Uh, attackers are definitely professionals. Details. Quick rundown. There's no trace evidence found on what seems to be the point of entry. The incident didn't last long, but the amount of damage was excessive. There were a large number of victims and yet not many rounds were fired and the accuracy were spot on. The attacks were probably all marksmen. This was the work of top-notch professionals. Sadov confirms that a new augmentation design was being tested just prior to the attack, but that the augmentation itself was unharmed and no files related to it were stolen. The obvious motive here is theft and or corporate espionage, but why then destroy the facility and murder everyone? A competitor could no doubt benefit from such a catastrophe, but these measures were quite extreme and to my knowledge this is an incident without precedent. I want to note here that I've been brought this matter that I've brought this matter up to Lieutenant Ashbrook on multiple occasions with no concrete results. Uh, I believe Captain is higher than Lieutenant. So Lieutenant Ashbrook is probably in on this as well. Uh, whether he wants to be in on it or not, it, it could be being leaned on from Captain Captain Penn. Oh man, look how neatly everything is stacked here. This is so good to look at. So good. Autopsy report. Megan Reed, aka Shakespeare. 32. Blood type O positive. Preliminary note. I've been appointed by the state to perform autopsies on the remains of multiple victims 
of the attack on Sarif Industries. This is due to the critical nature of the incident and the need for the State Department to be fully aware of every detail without going through an endless array of bureaucratic forms and requests. This is in no way linked to the competence of ME Dr. Gerald Campbell and shouldn't be interpreted as such. Aha! Someone has... Someone has brought this doctor onto the case to get around Dr. Ge Dr. Gerald Campbell because Gerald Campbell's not in on the conspiracy, right? Final diagnosis Vertebral injuries. Vertebrae in the neck area are displaced. Abrasion of the bones consistent with severe sudden stress or pressure. Broken neck. Ligature strangulation. Abrasions found in the neck area. Hard to clearly verify due to severe burns but throat seems crushed. So strangled neck broken. Severe burns. Extremely severe burns covering the entirety of the body. Accelerant residue has been set to chem lab for analysis. Absence of fumes residue and ash in the lungs. Ah. So she was killed prior to being burned. Yeah, burns are post-mortem. Toxicology report. Blood ethanol, none detected. Blood screen, no drugs detected. Clin clinic or pathologic correlation. Cause of death is quick and intense. Snapping of the neck vertebrae combined with crushing pressure. Body was likely burned after the subject was deceased. Dr. Dana Hall, M.E. How badly was she burned exactly? Do we know it's really her? Severe burns covering the entirety of the body. Find all evidence related to the case. Alright, we did it. Um, right, Sarif Industries report. Terrorist attack on blah blah blah. Detective Jean Shapovsky. Probable use of unidentified high-tech compound. While examining the crime scene, Detective Hayward and I both noticed that the area covered by the attack seems abnormally damaged, burnt to a degree that could not be explained by a normal fire or the use of any known explosives. It was the same for all the recovered victims' bodies. Residue analysis by forensic lab officers on the scene likely comes from a high-tech accelerant of unknown nature. It seems the lab equipment it seems the lab's equipment and victims were deliberately burned to an excessive degree. The most obvious conclusion is that this was done to eliminate all possible trace evidence, but it just feels odd like something is off. Huh. Um, if the bodies were burned to such an excessive degree, can we really be sure that they're the people who we think they are? What's in the safe? Megan Reed, lab notes. Uh,. Are these Megan's lab notes or are these notes about Megan? It's hard to fathom it all. Ah, oh, that's her name, isn't it? Megan. Megan Reed. It's hard to fathom it all sometimes. It's just ex-girlfriends just in and out of my head, man. I've had so many, they all just blur into one person. It's hard to fathom it all sometimes. When I made that breakthrough in my research a couple of years ago, I never thought it would get this big, mate. I thought it was an anomaly at first, but it's become to genetics what universal assemblers are to nanotechnology. We're talking about the holy grail of DNA here. Hell, this is Gregor Mendel, big. Gregor Mendel. Ah, oh, man. I, I don't know who that is. I'll have to look him up. Mendel, I don't know. I don't know what, I don't know what he's, what he did. 
The thing is, I have to bury the truth. Not the discovery, but how I reach my results. Aha, she's been up to shady stuff. It's become harder lately. I betrayed someone, someone I respected for the sake of research. I wish I had a chance to fix it, but it got bigger than me, bigger than Sarif. If this ever came to light, Sarif Industries could be ruined. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm tired. I think I'll just wrap things up for today. The Holy Grail of DNA. Look, do you remember when we were in that limb clinic? Is it in there? And they said that we should be on neuropazine, shouldn't we? But we're not. Are we? Are we the holy grail of DNA? Did Jeanette betray us? Did uh, Megan betray us? If she did... What a bitch.